Here are some questions that may come to mind when considering Homo erectus. How did the species survive on Earth? Where did they live? And what did they look like? Homo erectus was very successful in creating cultural technologies which helped them adapt to new environment opportunities. They expanded their geographic range from Africa to regions of Asia and Europe. This territorial expansion began 1.8 million years ago, adapting to cooler temperature until approximately 300,000 years ago. Now let's take a look at some of its physical characteristics. Maybe not these types of physical characteristics. As you can see, compared to the modern human, Homo erectus was much smaller. However, compared to earlier hominids, Homo erectus had a significant increase in body size. Evidence indicates that adult males range from five to five and a half feet tall, and females four to four and a half feet tall. They have pronounced brow ridges and their face was wide with their nasal cavity projected forward. The postcranial skeleton is similar to that of a modern man, but more stronger. It is clearly very muscular, indicating that they experienced heavy physical exter- Homo erectus displayed brain enlargement compared to other species of genus Homo with a cranial capacity of about 700 to 1,250 cubic centimeters. The skeleton is similar to that of a modern human, but it's robust and heavily muscled. The face is short but wide and the nasal opening is projected forward, suggesting the first appearance of a modern human external nose with the nostrils facing downward. Another significant aspect of Homo erectus features is cranial size. Its dense cranium indicated in the thick cranial bone, large brow ridges above the eyes, also known as supraorbital tori. The back of the skull which houses the brain is long and low, and the cranium is wider compared to other species of genus Homo. Homo erectus diet was more human-like, which consisted of plants, nuts, and meat. The evidence found explains that Homo erectus represented a new phase in human evolution because they had the skills to control fire to stay warm, or most likely to use to cook meats. They also broke animal bones for the nutritious marrow inside and were scavengers to dead carcasses they found, but most were hunters and gatherers. Archaeologists have examined at the complexity of the teeth like roughness, texture, and scratches. Researchers found that foods like nuts and seeds tend to lead to a more complex teeth structure, while tougher foods like leaves and meat lead to more scratches. The structure of their teeth was closely related to modern humans, which led to a human-like diet.